Tony Danza has been entertaining us for decades, and it all started with two of TV's most beloved sitcoms. We're talking, of course, about Taxi and Who's the Boss? Yeah, and in the 30 years since, Tony has continued to take on countless shows, movies, and Broadway plays. And we are so delighted to have him here with us today. Hi, Hi Tony. Tony. Ladies, how are you? It's Someone's so good. going to be getting a birthday cake this week. Yes. How, yeah. how are we feeling about our birthday? Uh, you, know, it's, 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 uh, you know, I think as we get older, they become less and less, uh, you know, important. I'm not uh, really, you know, that's will, another day. Will the kids or grandkids come? Oh, yeah, will you no, celebrate I'll, together? No, I'll be, I'll be, I'm sure there'll, there'll be some kind of... Uh, Celebration. Yeah. 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 But, uh, Do you find... Uh, let me just say it, because yeah. people are wondering, now, how old? How Seven, old? 73. How does 73 feel? feel? It's a tipping point, I think. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, like 50, you start waking up with injuries. <laughs> you know, you wake up, you go to bed, you're fine. You wake up with a broken leg, you know. <laughs> 60, you get very self-reflective. What have I done? What haven't I done? What should I do? Yeah. 70 is seminal. One wasn't bad. 72 wasn't bad. Three feels tipping, like... Like 75's yeah, coming? you know, that's yeah. the age old people are. <laughs> but you're not... But first of all, you have such a light to you. Yes. Oh, and one spirit. of the things that... That I think is incredible about you. Of course, you've had a tremendous acting career, but you've also gone back to learn how to teach. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know, one of the, let me just go right into it then, please. Uh, you know, this, th we have a, a program here in New York because I, I, I'm a big believer that we've, as a society, we've totally uh, uh, abdicated any responsibility for nurturing our children. Yes. There's no more, uh, no more family hour or any of that yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. And so we, we started an acting program, a teen acting program, the slogan of which is uh, teen acting because when you teach a kid how to act, you teach a kid how to act. How That's great is that? <laughs> great but slogan. Yeah. Also, what, it, what it says about you, too, mm -hmm. is that you're oh, yeah. wa mm -hmm. wanting to grow and evolve and do different things and also find passions that may mm -hmm. have always been there. And I also really, really work. I'm sorry. I just cannot understand. These kids are getting so cheated. Think about your childhood. Yeah, yeah. How wonderful it was. Yeah. And these and, and 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 I don't think they're getting the same kind of thing. And so we give them and we have uh, we have a couple of levels of acting, free acting, voice, uh, dance. We've, we're introducing tap dancing this this semester. We have a wellness component. Uh, take take them shopping and, and teach them how to cook. Um, it, it's just a wonderful uh, and, and ensemble building. Mm. One of the most important things is so much of today is about the self. Mm -hmm. Why are you concerned with kids who yeah. aren't your own? Because they are our own. Mm. <laughs> They are all our kids, you know what I mean? Anyway, anyway, it's the Stars of Tomorrow project. A big shout out to my big benefactor, Mr. Danny DeVito and Mr. Jim Brooks. They are the most the two Aww. great guys. Aww. Um, but it's a it's a worthwhile project, and it's um, and, and and you know just. I just really mean it. I just think we're, we're kidding ourselves if we think someday these yeah. kids are all going to go, you know what, time to be well-adjusted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm going to have it. So, but that, that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to talk to you about something else, if oh, I might. Yes. yes. I'm on a show that I'm enjoying doing so much. Tell us. I'm on a show called Raising Canaan oh, on the yes. Stars Network. Yes. And it's with the most wonderful actress, um, actor, Tina Miller, London Brown, Joey Badass. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in New York, you don't get that name. But, no. <laughs> 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 but, but it's just a, a wonderfully made show, terrific mm -hmm. writing. Uh, and I'm getting to play a character that uh, I haven't had a chance a lot in my career to play. And it's about the most fun uh, I've ever had. That you really, really, cool. really should, people should take a look at Definitely. it. Definitely, like yeah. It. You have so many iconic shows. Um, can you even believe that we're still talking about Who's the Boss, by the way? No. Like, we are still talking no. about it. No. We're it's talking about the possible reboot. We're talking no. about Alyssa Milano, which yes. is here. We're, like, you know, and actually, we, some of us are praying for the possible yes. reboot. I mean, you yes. know, do you know so what happened to me? The other night I played uh, it's, uh, Utica. Yeah. I was in Utica doing my, my show. And uh, which, by the way, I'm at Studio 54 at the end of the uh, oh, end fine. of May. <laughs> by the way, I'm fifth, below 54. But anyway, um, th this woman flew in from Milan. She said she grew up. I think she thought the show was in New York City. Yeah. And somehow <laughs> she ended up in Utica. But anyway, <laughs> she she came and she grew up in France. And in France, it's called Madame et Servi. Um, you know, the lady is yeah. served. And it was on every night. And oh she was gosh. 12 or 13, and she said, I watched it every night along with all these other kids. Uh -huh. from, so I had this woman from France say, telling me this. How crazy kind of is that? Is crazy? So no, is there a wonderful. I mean, um, wonderful. We, we maybe shouldn't be asking, but is there a chance? Could there be a chance for a reboot? Make us all happy? 
You know, I, I, I just I, a chance. The, okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a chance. There's always, There's always a chance. A chance. Yeah, um, chance. Yeah. You got an event this evening. Yeah, yeah tonight, big playing. night, big night. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, the great actor. And a good friend of mine, the, Pete, the, the late, great Peter Boyle. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody hasn't seen Joe, go see Joe. You would forget about the other stuff. But he's wonderful. And uh, he passed away from uh, yeah. myeloma, which is a blood cancer. People think it's skin cancer. It's a blood cancer. And uh, they have a foundation. And, it's the, uh, and this foundation has done so much good in uh, raising money to, to come up with these incredible things that they've come up with that, that would have helped a lot when Hattie been around. So, so it's something that Ray Romano is the, is the host, uh, Anna Romano will be there. Yeah, it's and, called uh, the International Myeloma Foundation Gala, and it's, uh, they raise a lot of money yes, that's needed. Yes. So, wow. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing a couple of songs, and Robert Klein is performing. And, oh, fun. Uh, and, uh, and of course, Ray Romano will be a riot. So, of course. Yeah, Gosh. Gosh. Tony, well, we love having yes, you. Listen, I'm so happy to see you. Thanks for having Thanks me. For having Say hi to your parents uh, for well, me, please. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh,